Hello, 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 my love muffins. All right, so what we're about to do is make us a veggie stir fry. I'm going to put sausage in mine. If you want to be to make it 100% vegetarian or vegan or whatnot, woo -de woo all of that, because I know somebody will be like, well, I don't want sausage in mine. I don't eat pork. Don't. <laughs> they have, look, Kellogg's already got ahead of this curve in the, uh, Made some 100% plant protein chicken strips. It's veggie, right? So you can use those. I'm going to use half of this onion. And I probably use this whole entire bell pepper. Alright, so we're going to put some spinach in there. We got some mushrooms. Some broccoli. And some Brussels sprouts that I'm about to cut in half. Boop, just like that. Um, so let's get started. Alright, ingredients. Broccoli, sausage, mushroom, bell pepper, onion, Brussels sprouts, some butter, some seasonings. So I got Boré's garlic powder uh, and a little Tony Satry to give me a little spice in my life. I don't know if I said spinach. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know. I'm suffering with a uh, sinus headache, y'all. So I might repeat myself a few times. We going to all be what? I right. All right, so I already got the heat started, so I'm going to put in some butter. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter. You don't have to use butter. You can uh, actually just use olive oil, but I use butter and olive oil. I put a little bit of both in mine. All right, and let me go ahead while that melts. I'm going to chop up my veggies. All right, so I'm going to spend a little time with y'all. All right, so while I'm chopping these veggies, let me tell y'all a story. It's not a story. It's actually real life. It's something that happened to me the other night when I told y'all I was going to come back, and I didn't. All right, so this is what happened. So I went to sleep. <laughs> I went to sleep, and about 2, between 2.36 and 2.39 a.m., I heard a knock, knock, knock at my door, and it was actually four knocks in a row. They were distinguished knocks because I have a doorbell and I have a door cam. And my door cam doesn't even allow you to be able to use the door knocker. Didn't know that till I checked the front door. All right, looking on the cam, there was not a human person in sight. It wasn't nobody there. Scared the living crap out of me it actually startled me i'm gonna be honest with y'all you know some people i was scared i was scared child. i'm gonna be honest with you because don't nobody come visit me unless they call first right so i grabbed my name y'all already know i'm not playing no games this is 2021 uh 2020 did not show any mercy it did not play with us right so uh evil spirits is flying around doing their thing so and they using humans to get the job done, right? Just like angelic spirits is flying around doing their thing and using humans to get the job done. So is demonic spirits. So, with that being said, honey child, I grabbed my nine. So, I really did, honestly didn't care who was going to catch them bullets. It was going to be a spirit or a human. You understand what I'm saying? I was shooting everything coming through the door. I did not care. All right, so anyway, I checked the door the next morning because I was not about to go open my door at no 239, especially when the door cam showed no person. It literally showed no person. I'm not playing with y'all. This is just, this is some paranormal type activity, and maybe this has happened to somebody else, and y'all can help me jump in the comment section if, if that has ever happened to you, Right? Jump into the comment section if it has ever happened to you. And I will share my um, visions with y'all, uh, which would be the, the dreams I had last night. But y'all be like, she over there tripping. Honey, I don't tell people about the stuff that the Lord have, that he tells me or even the angels show me. Because y'all don't believe half of this stuff. So I don't be sharing because y'all ain't even be like, oh, she done lost her mind over there. <laughs> But anyway, so I looked it up and I tried to find stories of people saying that it happened to them. And it was only a few, so it's very rare, right? Now, I was born a healer. You don't know that because I don't talk about it. Y'all think all I do is cook. 
Uh, I am a licensed massage therapist, but the Holy Spirit had me to shut the my business down due to COVID. Because I've already had pneumonia twice, and he doesn't want me exiting stage left anytime soon. We got work to do, right? I'm cutting my onion now. Y'all could be watching me cut. Let me move this. I'm sorry, my bad. Y'all could be watching me cut these veggies up while I run my mouth. Anyway, I got work to do, whether it's on this side or the next, right? But he want me to do it over here. So, with that being said, I cannot uh, put myself in harm's way. I know a lot of people don't believe that it's real, but sickness and disease is real. The spirit of infirmity is real, and it doesn't care um, about how it attacks you. It just cares that it gets to attack you. I hope that made sense to you and that you protect yourself. Eat your fruits and veggies. You know, exercise. I this I'm telling y'all, I have not been exercising, right? I've been laying around. But I have been drinking my ginger. Let me show you. This ain't got nothing to do with these veggies right now. But this, I just made me a pot. And I know it looks weird. But this is lime, lemon, and ginger root. That's what's in there. All right, and so I sip on that every single day. I drink one full cup of that a day, right? Because it's a lot of antioxidants in there, and it helps uh, knock out a whole lot of stuff. All right, I'm only using it's a big old piece of onion, Lord Jesus. All right, so anyway, you want to do your portion in keeping your body uh, safe from harm's way. Uh, take immune builders x y and z to get yourself you know in alignment with a with healing right don't just get a tickle in your throat and sit there and say oh i got a tickle in my throat oh lord i got covid don't sit there and let it manifest do somebody lord jesus because whether y'all know it and i know at the core of us we're all selfish we're not thinking about the hospital staff and how they are committing suicide and quitting their job because we selfish right we selfish let's just be honest we're selfish oh it ain't real it's not real until it hits you or somebody close to you then it becomes real that's selfish it's selfish we're wearing a mask and washing my hands and da 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 da, -da ain't working because all they telling you is to wear a mask and wash your hands but at some point common sense and wisdom need to step in you understand me? Step in. Use some common sense. Eat your fruits and vegetables. No, they're not going to tell you that because, yes, it was designed to get you into the health system so that they can make some money. Right? And I know I sound like I'm fussing because I am because I'm sick of y'all dying on me. I'm tired. Stop dying on me. We got shit up beside our Lord. Ooh, see, got me cussing. We got stuff to do. Where's only... Uh, a certain percentage do you want to have lung problems for the rest of your life even if it doesn't kill you do you want your lungs to be damaged do you want to walk around with an oxygen tank do you want to lose the use of your limbs do you God, no. wash your hands wear a mask social distance eat your fruits and vegetables take vitamin D Take vitamin C. Eat oranges. Do some ginger. Do some lemon. Do some lime. Put some garlic in there. Little thing, thank you. Hey, Research. Find out what it's going to take to get you healed. Because guess what? The healers at the hospital are they human. The human. And we have stressed them to the point of we're not going to have any hospital staff. We're not going to have them. So when a person has a heart attack or insulin uh, insufficiency or has sickle cell anemia or is not able to get to the hospital or, or have a car accident, guess what? Y'all ain't going to be able to be seen because all these other selfish people, selfish, selfish, let's call it what it is. You want to go sit in a restaurant and have fun with your friends. Man, bro, it's so much spit in the air in the restaurant. Every time you talk, spit come out your mouth. Did you know that? 
Every time you eat, spit come out your mouth. And guess what? You got a hundred people sitting in one place, spitting and talking. And guess what's in the air when you take your mask off? COVID. Use some common goddamn sins. We ain't got none no more, don't look like. Whew. I don't, I, let me tell y'all something. I hate fussing. I promise y'all do. But when I just see y'all keep doing the same old dumb stuff over and over and over again. Come on, give me an example, Holy Spirit. He telling me, let me tell y'all what he's saying. You, it doesn't take you to walk out in the middle of the highway to know that if a diesel truck is coming at, at 65 miles an hour to know if it hits you, you gonna die. That's what COVID is. It's a diesel truck. Prepare yourself. Stop being silly. Good Lord. I know a lot of y'all probably just unsubscribe. I really can't care because it's your life. You understand me? And I want to see you live it. You got to fulfill your purpose. Your children need you. Your family needs you. All right, y'all see me put all the veggies in there. All right, I'm going to put some bow rays in there. Well, I keep praying. Prayer without works is dead. Faith without working day. What you praying for if you're not going to put in the work to make sure that your prayer come into fruition? You jumped out there. You got it. And then you turn around with, Lord, could you please hear me? And you ain't eating no fruits and veggies. You ain't drinking no ginger root, lemon tea. You ain't doing nothing to heal yourself. The genie in the bottle ain't can't help you until you do your part. He does his part in the healing, but you got to do your part. Stop thinking God is a joke. This is not for play. This dress rehearsal is over, y'all. The game over. 2019 is gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And y'all seen the crap that happened on Thursday. Oh, there she go talking politics. No, I'm not. I'm talking human. Y'all seen what happened and ain't nobody had no mask on. And all of them done got back on planes. They done got on trains. They done got on buses. They done went to these hotels. They done went to these restaurants. I'm tired of this. Y'all need to help. It's retarded, I swear. Help. Good Lord. Then they went back home to their family. So I promise you, the numbers is about to soar. And ain't nobody going to be at the hospital to take care of nobody. We're going to be in World War Three. We already in war. We in war. We in war for our health. You want to go sit in these restaurants? You want to go and get fast food? Guess what? It's killing you. And it will lay dormant in your body until it know that you at your weakest point and then bam, your ass in the spirit realm. I got it, 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 You don't understand no other language. It is what it is. Now you're over there pissed off because you didn't fulfill your purpose on this side and you got to do a redo. Woo! Come on, y'all. We got to be smarter. You understand what I'm saying to you? We got to be smarter. This is just, this, this, this is ridiculous, miss. I swear it is. I hope y'all know everything I done put in here because I done fussed enough. Got me sweating. Got me upset. I'm trying not to cry. Because y'all think tears are weak, but tears ain't weak. I'm, my, I'm, I'm, I'm empathizing and I'm sympathizing. You understand what I'm saying? Because uh, you wasn't taught that. A lot of people wasn't taught that. It's called empathy and sympathy. Empathy and sympathy. Empathy and sympathy. Get some of that. Get it. It's very rare I fuss, but I'm fussing today. Empathy and sympathy. You understand? Women having babies got to go to a COVID induced, uh, COVID fulfilled hospital. So now the mother and the baby are now exposed. It's supposed to be a joyous occasion. How can it be a joyous occasion when you got in the back of your mind the seed is already planted? 
you might, you may or may not catch it. Why are you playing Russian roulette with your health? Hello? It's people as diabetics out here. They can't help the fact that they are diabetic. Unless they just, you know, overweight and can lose the weight and eat right and heal it. It's people that cannot control that. They can't even get in the hospital. Because selfish people want to go sit in a restaurant and, and enjoy. Man, let me tell y'all something. And y'all can mark my words and y'all can refer back to this video if you done made it this far. Baby. We about to go back on lockdown. Oh, I ain't going high. I, I, you selfish. We're going back. You know why? Because we have to. Because we're selfish. We are selfish. Well, the economy will shut down. Ain't going to be no economy if everybody dead. If everybody dead or everybody on oxygen. And you ain't going to get no disability. I put in for a disability check. No, you're not. No, you're not. It'll take four, five, six, seven, eighteen 18 years before you get it. You'll be dead. You'll be dead. You understand? If the government ain't showed you nothing other than you better take care of yourself. If they ain't showed you nothing else, you better take care of yourself. Let me turn this seat up. Because y'all done got me all out my character today. I swear. I hope y'all saw the karma. I'm going back to the night station because cause mama done came out and said what she had to say. Uh, I hope y'all saw the karma sauce on the last video. Look, now this is what it looks like after it has cooled off. Now you can eat it. Now what you see in there, if you didn't see the karma video, was uh, the pecan and raisin. That's what y'all see in there. That's to go over the bread pudding. Right? So, my veggies are nice, still nice and crunchy, just like I like them, right? So, what I'm going to add in now, and they flavorful, I can promise you they flavorful. I'm going to add me just a little more garlic powder because I like the flavor. And I don't want it to cake up on my veggies, so I'm going to make sure I stir it. And what I'm stirring, I'm using is a wok, right? If you cannot afford, this wok here was like, 20 some dollars but if you can't afford that Walmart has one for five dollars and I have it now hold on this is the five dollar walk from Walmart and y'all can tell I done used it honey that's pretty real pain out of there but it has last I've had it uh three years now I've had it three years so it's a good it's, it's good five dollars literally five freaking dollars all right, so I'm going to put some of these um, vegetarian chicken strips in here. I'm not going to use a whole lot because I don't really know what they taste like. They smell good. And usually when it smell good, it tastes good. All right, let's get that in there. Because I like flavor. Oh! <laughs> I love me some y'all, and I'm not playing when I say I love y'all. I don't have to meet you in person. To know that I love you. I love you. And I love seeing you come pop up in the comments. I do. I love seeing y'all pop up in the comments. I promise you I do. Because y'all know I'm going to reply. Even when I'm at my lowest. I'm still going to reply. I'm like oh my god. They thinking of me. That warms my heart. And it helps me get back up. Right. Because I get weighed down with sympathy and empathy. God has had me quiet. So he could pour a lot into me. A whole lot. Oh, a whole lot. But if any of y'all ever had a knock at the door and it wasn't a human in sight and you had a door cam and you looked at your door cam and you didn't see nobody, please, 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 please tell me what transpired after that. Because I'm going to tell you what transpired uh, in my uh, vision. It was a lot. And I, 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 I mean, they were so vivid. So vivid. So vivid. We're going through a transition, right? All right, so we got our veggie stir fry. All right, we're going through a transition. We are. Those things that are old, they gone. 2019, gone. G-O to the freaking end. -E. All right, now that I have cut the fire off, this is when I add my spinach. I don't add spinach before that. And spinach is good. It has so many different vitamins. Oh, uh, and nutrients, right? 
so many vitamins and nutrients. And I just let the heat of the other veggies and the wok steam through the spinach. Because y'all know spinach will cook down to nothing. <laughs> cook down to nothing. But if you ever had that to happen to you, and I'm not I'm not really ready to tell y'all the visions yet. But I will tell you the visions that I've had the last three years, I've only shared with one person. And I'm going to share it with you now. But I'm not going to share it in its entirety because it's going to scare the crap out of you. Let me tell y'all something. We are already at war. Okay? We are already there. And that's all I'm going to say on that. We are already there. Okay? And when I say I love you, I'm not playing. Because trust me, if I don't tell you I love you, guess what? I put you on the prayer line, but feelings for you, I have not. Alright? So when I say I love you, I really mean it. Okay? All right, and that's it. We got some veggie stir fry. You want to hear me taste it? Because I'm not going to let you see me, hun, chair, Because I am not dressed. I am not camera ready. Let's see what this tastes like. This little piece of, this little piece of fake chicken. Let's see what it's talking about. Oh, Lord, well, the broccoli fell off. Mmm. Ew. Hmm. It's weird. Um, uh, it's not. It has flavor. It tastes good. Cause it's been hanging out in here. But it's weird. It's almost between a mushroom and something else. I don't. Oh, tofu. Lord, that's what it's like. Tofu. Let's see what this is. Water, soy protein. Mm mm. That's low, that's good. Wheat, gluten, corn oil. Tapioca, starch, dry onion, salt. Tricalcium phosphate. I don't see nothing about no. If you're allergic to soy, don't buy it. They got soy and wheat ingredients in it. It's tofu. That's what this is. It's freaking tofu. Alright, y'all. I see y'all on this video. I don't know what it, when that's gonna be and what it's gonna be. And I'm being honest with you. Cause I'm going through. <laughs> Alright. Peace out. Take care of yourself, please.